Kieran and I'm studying electronic engineering at the University of Southampton and I'm a first year. For this experiment, we're going to investigate Planck's constant. On your board, this will be in the bottom right hand corner. What we need to do is to complete the circuit. We need to connect jumper cables across these two vertical pins and also connect the voltmeter and the ammeter. This is what the circuit should look like when connected correctly. As you can see, the red LED is lit. And make sure to turn the power on. The voltmeter is connected in parallel across the LEDs and the ammeter in series here. This potentiometer has variable resistance. So, if you change the dial, the resistance and accordingly the current will change. And as you can see, the LED will become less or more lit. To calculate Planck's constant, what we're going to do is measure the IV characteristics of the LED. The current will be the current through the LED in even steps, using the method we just described. And the voltage will be the voltage across the LED. We're going to measure this IV characteristics for different coloured LEDs. So using your jumper wires, you'll have to take them across and move them to a different colour. Having gathered all your data, you should see that not all LEDs are the same. Those of different colours have different IV characteristics. For the four LEDs, calculate the threshold voltage. This is the voltage at which you should be able to see light coming from the LED. Plot this against one over wavelength. If you manage to get good results, your graph should be linear. You can calculate the value of Planck's constant by calculating your gradient of your line and also the y-intercept. The formula for Planck's constant is this formula. I really hope this video helps you. Thank you for watching.